It's unprecedented. Um, we haven't had numbers like this in 10 plus years. This intake room at Barks only tells part of the story. Dogs in crates because there is no more kennel space. We have dogs here from eight weeks old to 10 years old right now. I mean, they're coming in 10 times more than the than the average we would see in historic years. And after exhausting every resource for the first time in more than a decade, Barks is having to euthanize for space, not for behavior or medical issues. Over the past month, we've gotten into territory where we are having to select dogs that are otherwise adoptable dogs for euthanasia. To help, Barks has launched a brand new foster program. Dogs Day Out lets you basically take out a dog just like you would check out a book from the library. You can take them on a hike. You can take them to get pup cups at Starbucks. You can just let them hang out on your couch for the day um, and it decompresses them and brings their stress levels down so much. Um, but it also gives us a lot of media content. We learn facts about them of what they like and don't like. We do sleepovers and weekend sleepovers, which is not even a long term foster commitment. You can take them for the weekend because sometimes even just getting them out of the shelter for three or four days, that opens up kennels for that kennel for that day. Well, Barks is hoping to get dogs like Forrest adopted at their Barkstoberfest next weekend at Patterson Park. That's on the 28th. But if you are a boss, if you own a business, if in any way you can help host an event to get these animals out of the shelter, just log into our website where you can find a link. Here at Barks, Jen Franciotti, WBAL-TV 11 News.